apartments over there. Looks like it. Beautiful, beautiful flower beds here. Benches tucked underneath trees for shade. A very popular park here in Lakewood. Kendrick Lake Park and Gardens. It's almost seven o'clock. I don't normally park hop at this time of day, but my situation is different. I'm not taking off down the road till tomorrow. And I know where I'm <laughs> headed for the night. So that makes a difference. Let's go take a look. Hope you'll join me. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. Going to take a walk through this little garden before we head over to the lake. Oh, what a peaceful, peaceful ending to the day. I started out about two o'clock, it's seven now. This is part two of the Lakewood area park hopping. Oh, and I'm just having a delightful time today. <laughs> Got my errands done. Things I mentioned to you in the last show, and I showed you two parks in the previous show, and now I have one more yet to go today. So we'll take a little bit of a walk and see what we can see and enjoy the, the just the beauty of the day, you know, coming to a close. Oh my gosh, there's a bunny rabbit. I haven't seen those guys in quite a while. He's hiding behind the purple. Can you see him? There he goes. Hey, mister. I haven't seen these cute little bunnies in a while. Quite appropriate for today because I've been kind of doing like, look over here, look over here, bunny trails, you know? Oh, I love them. I don't recall seeing these flowers. And I absolutely love them. I love the way they stand above all the other flowers. Oh my gosh. Delightful. If I lived in those apartments across the way, I would be here often, I'm pretty sure. Just get out of your four walls and go check out what your neighborhood has to offer. Wow. Places like this don't get old to me. Last time I was in Sticks and Bricks, one room abode in Texas, just about every single day I went out and I did a mile walk. So I love to walk. It's great exercise. I need to do some uh, more strenuous exercise. I'm hoping to get back to, you know, lifting some weights and, you know, doing some other stuff. Put in the comments, what do you do to keep the, to keep your um, health with uh, some exercise. I'm, I turned around, so the view's different. Look at the beautiful clouds. Wow. And to think we've just gotten started here. I've already probably taken about 10 photos. Wow. You can see the mountains over there. Woo! Glorious, glorious. Look at these cactus. Oh, wow. Every park is so different. There's a big playground here. Look at that. What are those called? Those that are above all the other flowers. I'm losing my words now for today. 
You know, some of my shows, oh my gosh, look. They end up being uh, 30, 40 clips. Just one 12 to 20 minute show. You never know when I might say something significant. <laughs> That's why I suggest you have to watch the whole show. I may, I may say something profound that would be an aha moment for you. There's Happy Haven. Now that's profound. All right, let's get into the actual park now that we've visited the gardens. Sounds like a plan, but I gotta take 10 more pictures. Lakewood, you've outdone yourself. What a bonus for those people over there. Whether those are townhomes or apartments, I don't know. But what a bonus. I can't remember if I've ever lived in an apartment complex where you could walk to the park. I'm going to have to think about that. Because obviously... I didn't, I'm not, I didn't do what I'm saying that I would do now. That would be like, get out and come over here every day. Not every day, maybe two or three times a week. You know, this is a great clear your head moment. It's good therapy over other choices, right? I have a feeling it's going to be an OMG moment. Hendrick Lake. Woo! Wonder what kind of sunset there'll be. Oh my gosh. There's a bench over there. There's some people sitting over there. I guess that's what you do on a bench. And this must walk all the way around the lake. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> the mountains over there. Wow, there's a better view. And the mountains. I'm looking right into the sun. So hopefully this is a good one. Playground over yonder. So it makes it lovely. For the parents and the grandparents while the kids play a through the window view between two trees oh. there's the bench i was talking about way over yonder look how nice and private this is romantic oh i could sit there I'm not really a sitter, but I could sit there. <laughs> I'm a sitter when I'm uh, doing something. But if I have a view like this, I'm pretty sure I could sit a while. So I don't know if it's going to get any better than this. <laughs> They've all been spectacular in their own way. And I just got to thinking too, you know, when I lived here, I don't recall parks like this. I'm sure these are probably a half an hour from where I lived, if that, look at that. And I don't know, just didn't get out. We were only here for six months. And uh, the memories of that time aren't too good. But, uh, wow, just got to make a little effort. And my son was three and I don't know that I made the effort. It's kind of like the same old, same old every day. Look at that. Whoo! It's about 7.30. Going to 
head out to the last park of the day. I'm gonna walk down here just a little bit more. The Grove of Trees is dedicated to the men and women of Operation Desert Storm and in honor of all those who have served and are serving our country to protect our freedom. June 14th, 1992. Landmark Art Exhibition. Temporary Outdoor Exhibition features the work of 10 accomplished Colorado artists, many of whom live or work in Lakewood. The artworks installed in parks throughout Lakewood address environmental issues or the sense of place. Some of the pieces consider how the landscape has changed. Others highlight a previously overlooked aspect of the location. Nice. Putting up a hammock over there. Awesome. Living life large. And of course, here's my buddies down the way. Are these geese? I'm thinking they're geese. Little up close and personal here for you. Not quite like the the amount I walked through the other in the other um, show that I did. Look, I can't see what I'm looking at. <laughs> too much fun. You guys provide too much fun. Not sure I can handle it. Could certainly spend an entire day here. I know I've said that before now, but it's the truth. Sunshine, fresh air. Like when I was in Kansas and the owner of the laundromat what the doctor the local doctor in that small town told everybody all you need is some fresh air and sunshine I would agree my friend is still here with me gotta love it Okay, buddy, we'll catch you again, all right? You sure are the cutest next to my grand sweet peas. Hippity hoppity. Don't mean to scare you. I know you're hungry. Later. I am now looking for Jewel Park. There is, I don't know, 66, four or five star. And Google just told me my destination is on the right. Well, this happens to be residential. <laughs> and I've driven through here twice now, so I'm not sure. Maybe we just saved the best for last with the previous uh, lake and gardens. And this park party could be over for today. God willing, there'll be many more parks tomorrow. So pretty. Just talked to some neighbors on their porch and they said it's a green belt. It's not a actual park and it's right behind their house where Google told me I had arrived so we're done for today and it's been an exciting fun wonderfully therapeutic day I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will share this 
with your friends, all the travels. I know sometimes things can get a little bit redundant for you, but there is so much beauty to behold. And I want you to go see Do if you can. I would imagine there was all of about a hundred people. Look at that beauty. Uh, at that last park. And there's probably, what, 200,000 people live in this area? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. There's like six babies in this yard. Oh my gosh. Y'all just made my day. You're too cute and I never saw this many babies in one yard. Love it. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you later.